when it gets up to the top, it's going to look exactly the same as where it started. So um, it'll look like we're back at the beginning. Um, so to do that, um, we're going to copy the bottom of this, which is, let's see, I need to get at least eight tiles. So let's see, I don't actually know how many that is. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so here we go, eight. Um, and I'll paste it up here. And when our scroll gets to this point in the map, we're just going to teleport back down to the beginning, and it will look like we didn't move because they're the same. So it'll just kind of infinitely loop like that. We did this in some game in the past. I don't remember what it was. The racing game? The driving game? I think it was like a vacation game. Oh yeah, you got to get out and get fuel? Question mark. Yeah, that one. Classic. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna take our um, uh, camera now, and we're going to put our camera down at the um, uh, like we're gonna need some sort of sprite to to be the the camera. So I'm going to make a sprite right now. It's going to be invisible. Um, we'll name it camera person and we'll make it of kind camera um, and we're not going to actually draw anything we don't actually need to draw anything for it um, we're going to set our camera person um, to be followed by the um, uh, camera and we're going to start it at the bottom of the tile map like I said so where is the bottom of our tile map? Um, let's see, it should be like, let's see, this is 24 tiles high. So we want to do um, 24 times 16 minus 8 minus 60, minus 68. So we're going to use Arcade as a calculator. Um, because I can't do this in my head. Where's Joey when you need Yeah, it? where's Joey? We can't do this. What do you want from me? Yeah, I think it should be that. Um, 316. Um, so we're going to set its, uh, position to be X. Um, we just want it to be halfway through the screen, so 80 is fine. And then for Y, we want it to be 316. And okay. All right, let's see if this looks right. Yeah, it looks right. Nice. Make sure that's cutting off the, the right row. I'm going to put like one little thing right here, and then hopefully that should indicate whether or not we've got it um, correct. We should see it pop up like right there. Yeah, perfect. All right, we're in the perfect position. Um, OK, so now we're going to take our camera person. We're going to give them some velocity, and that's going to be our scrolling. So let's go ahead and give them a VX right now. And sorry, not VX, VY of negative 50. Now, nice. This is going to keep going up until we get to here. So this is where we need to loop. So um, in order to figure out like at what point we should loop and transport ourselves back down to this position, um, it's actually pretty easy because we just want to loop when it's at the center of the screen that the you know where the screen starts at. I um, mean, so you know we know what that is. That's sixty pixels. Um, so we can just do an on game update. We can do a check to see if we are at for our Y. So if our Y is less than 60, we want to set our position back to the start. There you go. 
So you can see it looping because the cursor disappears, but you know, if the cursor wasn't disappearing, it would look pretty perfect, I feel like. Yeah. So. All right, cool. We've got our backdrop, and that took way less time than I thought it was going to. OK. So now that we've got this going, uh, let's actually start creating some enemies. So um, I'm going to, at the start, just, um, uh, oh, OK, we've got a, um, a ghost from Jasmine. Let's do it. So um, I'm going to make a function, which is going to be called um, create enemy. Do you have a name for this ghost, Jasmine? It can be anything. Uh, squiddy. I don't know. <laughs> it kind of looks like a squid, so. Uh, um, yeah. I love that name. <laughs> don't change it. OK, um, so we're going to make a function called create squiddy. Um, and let's go ahead and make a uh, sprite right here. I'm going to set this to be 10 by 10. And we'll paste it in. And oh, oh. I, love <laughs> oh. Um, I love it because its frown kind of also looks like a mustache. <laughs> um, all right. So my idea for this is going to be that basically we're going to create these these ghosts. And they're going to move towards you um, um, like some sort of central like character that's going to be like right here. Um, but we're going to give them all different behaviors, and that's why I'm creating this function create squiddy. So we're going to be doing some sort of thing to kind of customize how they, they actually move. And um, we'll uh, do everything based off that. Should hopefully be okay. All right. So um, let's go ahead and make a new variable. We'll call this squiddy. Um, and we're going to make this kind um, enemy. And um, all right, you're ready to call it out, Vivian. Oh, oh, uh, um, it's time for arcade sprite data. <laughs> Lots of an impact when there aren't four of us doing it at the same time. But, yeah, um, and also yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't ready. I was like, surely you aren't queuing me up to say a different extension. <laughs> you should know that I'm just going to throw it. Throw things at you randomly, right? Vivian, at this point, <laughs> I'll pay attention better. I already made my ghost. All right. So um, we're we're adding sprite data, which is um, Vivian's favorite extension. Um, and the thing that's great about this is that um, it'll let us store things on the sprite. And so I just want to be able to tell what kind of enemy we're overlapping with. So um, I'm going to be um, on here. I'm going to take Squiddy and I'm going to store um, a name, and it's going to be Squiddy. I mean, so later in my program, I can get this name off of our Squiddy and um, actually use it to do stuff. OK, so um, let's actually call this function. We're going to go into an on-game update. Um, sorry, probably an on-game update every. Um, and we're going to call um, create Squiddy. And for now, we also need to just make something that's like our, our player. So I'm going to make a sprite real quick that's going to be um like player hmm player body player body um and i'm just gonna make it a square and i'll decide what it's gonna be later if you guys have any ideas what's what it should be you know let me know mm. And for now, for squiddies, um, let's just go ahead and do the simplest kind of AI that we could do, which is we're going to put in um, a sprite follow. Where's that at? And we're going to have it follow the um, layer body. All right, cool. Well, hmm, I just thought of something. What? Uh, everything kind of has to be relative to camera because we have this tile map scrolling in the background, right? Yeah. OK, well, we can do that. Um, so I'm actually, I'm going to go into here. I'm going to go to um, uh, sprites and get this flag block, this one right here. Um, and we're going to set everything to be relative to camera. And this is going to cause a problem 
but I have an idea of how to deal with it. It's not going to be the, the the nicest thing, but it's going to work. Um, and um, the way we're going to do this is we're going to um, make sure that we are uh, um, setting everything to be relative to camera, but relative to camera has a problem, which is that um, it makes it so that um, collisions don't happen anymore. No more overlaps. Um, which is sort of a problem, you know? It's nice to have overlaps. It's kind of a thing in this game, to have overlaps. But um, I have an idea of how to fix this. Um, and so we'll, we'll handle that in just a sec. Um, first, though, let's go ahead and put our player body like down at the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to set their position to be x80, and then like a little bit away from the screen. So y will be like, we want to subtract 8, and then maybe like two more pixels. We'll do. Um, 120 minus 10, which is 110. There we go. Cool. You see our squiddies running towards it. Um, for our squiddy, let's let's give them kind of a, a better position. So um, we'll go ahead and go into our position right here. We're going to set their Y to be like negative 5, so they're off screen. Um, and then we will um, set their x to be just something random. So 0 to, well, we should probably make it like 5 to 155 so that we have, we won't be like partially off screen. Cool, all right. Look at them go. Um, they're also going way too fast. <laughs> so in, in res, everything moves pretty slowly. Um, to give you time to target it. There's just like a lot of things, so you have to kind of prioritize what you're targeting. So let's make this like way slower. Let's make it like 30 for now. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I like that. Um, all right. And we're also going to go into our on-game update, and we're going to make this um, quite a bit longer just for debugging. We'll probably change that later, but... Um, all right. So... Overlaps. We need to do overlaps. How are we going to do overlaps? Um, well, one way to do it is um, something that, you know, don't don't try this at home, kids. I'm just kidding. Try it at home. That's what this whole stream is about. Um, we're going to make a um, thing that's going to be called um, a collider. And you know, actually, I'm going to make a function for this. This will be great. Hey, Richard. Yeah. What do you call a paint can that's mixed pretty well? Wait, actually, um, think about think about it. You know, I'll ask you. I'll ask for right. the answer later. <laughs> Let me consider it. I'm mm -hmm. thinking about it, pushing everything else from my mind. <laughs> um, there's probably something I should be thinking about right now, but I can't hold it in because I'm just spending too much time thinking about this paint can mixing thing. <laughs> Um, I don't know. You got to tell me, Vivian. Oh, um, well, if you if you had to take a guess at it, a gander, um, you know what's what's a word? Oh man, actually, I don't care. Is gander, a word for guess? Yeah, like I'll take a gander, right? Gander at it. I think gander means like you're looking at it. Jasmine. Oh, I think you could use it in the sense of like, you'll take a guess. Or I guess I don't know. I yeah, you would use it in terms of like I'll take a look at it, or I don't know. Mm, chat, chat, weigh in. Let us know, Richard. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> no, I was distracted. <laughs> you tricked I'm me. I'm sorry. I I, I, um, I uh, saw through your scheme. You distracted me from my distraction. <laughs> That's fine. I'll get you next time. Mm -hmm. Jasmine, I don't know if you know this, but every time we make a function, if we forget to um, call it, that is a quarter that we put in a jar, which we are going to use to get a puppy. Oh. And Richard. Have you what type of puppy? Oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. No. Have you guys thought about what type of puppy? I want an old puppy because they like sleeping. And then they won't be like, I got to yeah. walk. I'm also partial to old puppies. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And then um, 
Yeah, I, we we've actually spent a lot of time talking about the name, but not the not like the breed, you know. <laughs> oh, what what what's like some names? Tapioca. It's gonna be called tapioca, for sure, hands down. Is no very ganders. To the name tapioca. <laughs> it's a. Which I think all of us like, but you know, it's kind of like. There, there's other good names. Shannon had a really good one that I can't remember. Uh, was it Gilgamesh? Gilga, and it was going to be called Gilly for short. Oh, which is very yeah, cute. and then mine was Bartholomew, Bartholomew. which is kind of a um, stream get uh, deep deep cut. Don't you want this dog to have life beyond stream? Um, <laughs> it's born from the stream. Oh, that's true. Okay, we have one comment from chat that Gander is luck. So, hmm, I guess right. if you heard a one goose point. on, sorry, one point for Richard. Oh, that, that's what you want to say. I guess if there was a goose on the street and went, uh -huh, you would like look at it. You wouldn't be like, yes, instinctually, I know that's a goose. No need to look. So makes sense. Yeah. All right, I, I need to talk about code for a second. So I can kind of explain what I'm doing. So um, everything is, is uh, relative to camera. So we have um, no way to do the overlaps for the sprites. But um, one way we can do that is by making another sprite called a collider that we're going to put behind our sprite, and we're actually going to adjust the position in an on-game update. Um, I'm actually going to make it orange because we're not really using orange right now, and um, that way, hopefully, it'll be easier to see it. So, what is this adjust collider function going to do? Well, it's going to put it on our tile map in the location that it should be based on where the camera is. So, the way to do that is we're going to set its position, and we need to actually get our collider sprite. So, I'm going to go into sprite data. I'm going to get the data as sprite. Put the sprite. I'm going to put collider here because I am storing collider on all of them. And then we're going to set its position to be um, the uh, x of the um, sprite because our, we only have one screen width. And then the y is going to be based off of our camera um, person sprite. So let's go ahead first and set that x right here. Sprite x. Um, and for the Y, it's going to be um, uh, the camera person Y. Uh, wait, let me think about this for a second. Okay, so the camera person Y is the center. So we just want to figure out the difference between the camera person Y and the squiddy Y. And then let me let me write this out in a comment. OK, so it's going to be um, the camera y minus squiddy y. Yeah, is it though? I don't think it is. So it's it's squiddy y, but it's going to be the, like, because the, the camera is in the center of the screen, it's going to be like 60 minus the squiddy y, I think. Oh. Minus 60 minus the squiddy y? I don't know. We'll see if this is right, and then we'll fix it. All right. So let's get the y. Get, um, I'm sorry. We actually want the first one to be camera y. Order matters here. Get rid of that. Want to go ahead into variables and get our... Um, camera person one. And then we're going to do um, minus 60. And let's call this function because there are no quarters coming out of Richard today. Richard, but don't you think we need some more extensions? Oh, yeah. The best. Let me consider that. And you know some of the deeper cuts of extensions, not any of those main page scrolling ones. Some You know some I like long cuts. Mm -hmm. I hate the mainstream. Yeah. So, you know, our classic um, PXT sprite util, a classic. Mm, All right, baby. It's done. Not large tile maps. All right. We're getting an error. Why are we getting an error? What was the error? You know, just usual. 
it looks like this collider is not being set on everything. So let's see. I called make collider on the player body. And I called make collider on the cursor. And oh, um, I think I probably left the, no, the camera person type is camera. And oh, I made the collider type player. That's not going to work. Actually, I should probably make it so this function takes in a number, which is going to be the kind. And we'll go ahead and put the kind in here. And I'm going to go into um, the sprites category and get a kind block. Here we go. Um, and I'm going to put these um, in here. And so for the cursor, I'm going to make a new kind called cursor so that we can do our overlaps there. And for this one, I'm going to go in here and make it um, a new kind, which is going to be um, enemy collider. Nice. Uh, and then here, this is going to be layer collider. And everything should be happy now. Nope. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. Do you want to do the debugger? Not debugger. Yeah, probably. We should probably do that. Won't it just tell us right away which one it's angry yeah, about? Yeah, all right. Richard, I don't know why you're dragging your feet about this. Oh, well, I guess we knew that. Yep. And there's no way to see sprite data on sprites. Well, let's see. OK, so we should have this sprite variable, right? Mm -hmm. Do we need set? Hmm, why set? isn't the sprite variable in here? Is it the same value? Is it mad about like the for loops with the wrong values being dragged in? Mm. Let's um sure we can try that real quick. Get some fresh blocks. Just redrag this out. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Yeah, I feel like I've been burned by that before, but in a more intense situation, probably not this. Yeah, no, it looks like we're okay mm. there. All right. There we go. <laughs> um, all right. Yep. That was it. <laughs> you did it. Yay. So I, I, I swapped that. these two variables. Um, and all right, so I definitely have the collider logic wrong because you don't see these orange guys. They're actually going up. So it should probably instead be the, um, oh, wait. It should be the camera person y plus the sprite y minus 60. Hey, that looks great. There we go. Yeah, all right, so cool. So we got all, all these little colliders. I mean, that's cool, and we can see them. Um, they're kind of annoying looking. Um, so let's actually hide those. Um, we're going to go into sprites. We're going to get a, another flag block. We're going to put it right here. Um, and we're going to change this to be, oh yeah, collider. Um, set this to be uh, invisible and set that on. All right, why did we do all that? Well, now we can do overlap events because we we can overlap between those those colliders that we made and we gave them co different kinds so that we can actually do that. Um, real quick though, um, because I have been ha having a bad habit recently of not putting in um, assets right when I get them. Um, we also got one from um, Vivian, two from Vivian. Um, and I'm going to put those in real quick. Vivian, what's the name of your first ghost? Oh, Monroe. Monroe is a great ghost name, I got to say. Thank you. I don't think you'll like the next one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going to duplicate this and just take this and throw that away. Um, let's see. For the size, it is 18 by 18. Yeah. 
Ooh. Spooky, right? An enemy? For sure. Mon row. Um, and right now we'll just leave everything else to be the same, I guess. Um, and let's go ahead and make a, another one real quick. Um, this is the one that Vivian says I will not like. Yeah, I I'm think it's named. To see it, <laughs> I think its name should be peanut butter. Maybe just peanut. You don't like peanut butter, is that why? I don't like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> Name, yeah, right? I, I, you know what? Sometimes it's like, where did this name come from? But sometimes it's just a straight line. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. Um, so this this one's gonna be peanut butter. Um, all right, cool. We've got our our, our um, three enemy types. We're only gonna spawn squiddies for now, though, because um, we need to write the the code for doing the targeting. All right. Let's start doing that. We're going to go into um, on start, and we're going to make another variable. This one's going to be called um, current targets. And we're going to set our current targets to be in empty array. We need to store all of the ones that we're currently targeting. So I'm going to, um, for each of them, I'm going to be adding them to this array as we target them. Um, and then when you release the button, we're going to loop over all of them and then launch our you know like little missiles at them. Um, okay, so let's go into, um, uh, a, I guess let's do the overlaps and we'll just check to see if the button is pressed in the overlaps. Um, so go into sprites, grab out and overlaps. And we want to overlap the, um, player collider. Let's see, what did I name this? Oh, cursor. Okay, I'm going to rename that kind real quick because... Oh, wait, we don't have the ability to do that, do we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> cursor collider. Um, just to be consistent. So when cursor collider overlaps enemy collider, we're going to check to see if the button is pressed. Why do I open sprites? I want controller. Um, then we are going to add them to our current targets. So let's go into arrays. We're going to go into um, add value at end for current targets. And we're going to add our um, other sprite. Um, all right. And actually, I'm realizing now that when we do this overlaps, so we're storing our collider on our um, Parent, we actually need to do the opposite too. So maybe past Richard was actually just thinking ahead in some way about the future. Hmm. That you know that code. that might put you under some scrutiny, Richard. Better be careful on how you, who you tell that to. Yeah, that's true. I don't want to be like a precog. What? <laughs> right. No, no. From a movie, mm -mm. they're like. They can tell the future, and so, like, the police use them to figure out future crimes that are going to happen. Do you, do you mean which? And they arrest you before you do them. Oh. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so we're going to store the, the parent on the collider. Um, okay, so current targets, we're adding our value, other sprite um, to the end. This is going to be our collider, not our parent sprite. Um and we also actually, we need to make sure that we're only adding them once. So we're going to go and, um, hmm, I guess there's a few ways we could do this. Let's let's maybe just change the kind. That's the easiest way. Targeted Collider. So um, that'll make sure that we only do it once, because um, once we change the kind, it's no longer a kind of enemy collider. So you know we won't have this overlap again. The other other thing we need to do is we need to make sure that we can only do it up to some limit. Um, so I'm actually going to go over here. I'm going to make a variable, which is going to be called like max targets. 
which could also be the name of like an, a secret agent or something. Yeah. But, you know, kind of suspicious, right? If you meet somebody named Max Targets, you'd be like, hmm, probably a secret agent. A secret yeah, agent should just I think be, you're right. Yeah. Should be like Richard Knoll. That's a very solid secret agent name because you would never suspect it. I mean, it's not a great one, if I'm being honest. I feel like, why am I doing a mice? <laughs> I feel like um, it should it should be like something where you like this could be a real name, but it still sounds really cool. And, you know, Richard Noel doesn't have that. Hmm. Okay. Well, you're safe today, Richard. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. So um, length of the rate current targets is less than we want to put in our max targets. There we go. Max targets is on the case. <laughs> um, uh, and then when we do a release, we want to um, actually destroy all of them. So let's just do that real quick. We're going to do it in like the easiest way possible just so we can test our code. We're just going to do an on A button released. We're going to um, loop over our current targets. So um, for element value of current targets, we're going to go into the sprites category. We're going to drag out a destroy. Um, and we're going to destroy um, value. And we're also going to destroy the parent of the value. So if we go back into sprite data and get our get data as sprite in here, put this in there. I called it parent. Um, and I'll destroy both of them. Um, and then we also need to clear our array. Um, so actually, I'm just going to duplicate this. Can you hear and my chair? put it down here? No. Wait, now that I wanted to squeak, it won't squeak. <laughs> what the heck? OK, that's fine. All right, that's fine. this is working. It's pretty visually unimpressive, though. Effects? No. I don't know. Yeah, so we should definitely do effects, but I also I want to make it so that um, you like launch things that come out and actually hit them, mm -hmm. and like you can't target again until it, they've all been destroyed. You know? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, and then I also like when you target them, like an X or something should appear over them so that you know you targeted this one. Mm -hmm. Um. So let's do that. Or you could bring what? in your shader extension. Ooh. Mm. I don't know if that's going to work super well, though, because it might make it just hard to tell what's going on. True. OK, that's fine. I'll think of other extensions, Richard. Don't worry. I think we could use the shader extension at some point, though, because I, you know, I like putting a shader extension in things. It's been a while since we've used it, right? So. Yeah, well, we used it for the roller skating game. Oh, yeah, that's true. Never mind. We should use it, though. That, that is one we need to work in more often, I think. Mm -hmm. OK, well, for now, let's let's do um, the targeting thing. So I'm, I'm going to make another function. It's going to be called make target. Pew, pew. Um, the lesser known brother of max targets. <laughs> Um, and we're gonna we're gonna take in the sprite. Okay, and this is gonna look a lot like our collider code because basically we're just gonna be creating a um, uh, a sprite, and it's gonna be something that we're gonna put on top of them. So let's like erase, you know, erase. Um, let's erase this, and we're going to make a um, I don't know, is purple a good color? Yeah, it's not too aggressive. Oh no, I'm actually gonna make this fifteen. By 15. And I want it to be an odd number so that we only have like one mm -hmm. overlapping thing in the middle. Um, and you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a little fancy and I'm going to like do that. So it's kind of like shading it up. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Target. 
go a kind. Target. Um, and we're going to store this on our um, uh, sprite. Um, so sprint, set data, target, um, to the sprite, target. And um, this one, we don't need to do any overlaps with or anything. So we're actually just going to um, make it relative to camera also. OK, so we've got this. Um, we need to make sure that all of these are at the right position. So we're going to, um, uh, oh, yeah, and we're also going to need to do the double linking thing here, I'm realizing. It'll make it way easier for us to write the code if we um, do it this way. Targeted. Hmm. Yeah. So um, inside of this on game update, we're actually going to loop over all of the um, sprites of kind target. And we're going to set their position to just be the same as whatever is there targeted. And so they'll be on top of them. Do, 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 do. Getting the X block. Getting the Y block, gonna have the sprite data inside of these blocks. Oh. Yeah. We'll have proper music next time I'm not streaming. Are you charged up? It's, uh, yep, all charged up. Excellent. Here you go. Okay, let's try this out. I didn't call it the hot. <gasps> That's a quarter. Woo! Uh, meow, 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 meow. Is that like an air horn that has a little cat inside? <laughs> well, how would you make an air horn sound? <laughs> what, what, what's, in, what's in your air horn? Like a chili person? Burr, 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 burr. I don't like, I don't. But meow, 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 is definitely not it. That is definitely a cat. Meow, 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 meow. It's like, you know, like an airplane flying by. That's how loud my air horn is. An airplane full of cats. <laughs> All right. Note it down. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Whoa, okay, I did something wrong. Did I put X for both of them? Yes, I did. Mm. I feel like some. I feel like putting the wrong variables in should be like dimes. This is like the wrong dropdown value, though. You know. Yeah, yeah. It's same, same, same. The wrong thing, you know. Hmm. This still isn't working. Let's see. Setting the x to targeted sprite x. Setting the y to targeted sprite y. And oh, because I'm making it on the. Um, I'm making it on the. Um, Collider. Collider. Yeah, mm -hmm. when really I should be making it on the the, uh, the Papa or Mama or you know Guardian Sprite. This is another hypothetical dime, which we're not keeping track of. Oh, the other thing I proposed the other day was that we should do a dime anytime we're confused by variable names that we've created for ourselves. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I just changed the wrong thing. Mm. Oh, so you just you you want to pay. <laughs> Yeah, that's what Joey said too. It's just targeting me. <laughs> um, but you know, it's a bad habit. Should break it. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, wait, wait. So we're getting the other sprite parent. We're. Let's see, I definitely did something wrong here because now they're not even getting destroyed anymore. 
Oh, whoops. Whoops, I did some undo stuff and it messed up my things. Note that down. Bug? As a bug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so that's working. Leaving behind the um, uh, target though, so we should we should probably clean that up. Um, so let's do that real quick. We are going to um, go to our destroy function. Maybe I should just do. I'm just going to make this easier on myself, and I'm going to use it. I'm going to do an on destroyed. Event. Yeah. Um, and I'm going to go to uh, of kind uh, enemy, and then I'm going to just destroy their collider and their target. Is it targeted? No, that's oh, okay. the opposite direction. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> All right, there we go. Cool, okay. All right, we got the basics going. Um, so I think this is going to have to be a multiple stream one. Um, and let's let's make a to-do list in our, in our waning minutes of this stream that's so sad don't put it like that i don't like it oh man All let's make a to-do list in our triumphant victory lap yeah after creating much of the stream a on the plus. game yeah okay so first we want to do the missile thing missile thing Right, and that's that's going to be like just animating a little thing that comes out and preferably leaves a little nice little trail behind and then hits. And I also want them to be kind of like loopy, you know? Like it's oh. not going to be like a straight line. It should be like... Are you going to do math, Richard? To be like, ah. You know? Yeah, probably. I might do it I might do it off stream and then just pull out the answer on stream, you know? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, look right oh. here. We have a pre-baked answer. I did this before. <laughs> yeah. um, we're going to also, um, let's see, make a player character. Um, we want to do different paths for ghosts. Um, make Ghosts happy, not destroyed. Cool. Um, and am I am I thinking of anything? Well, is there anything I'm not thinking of? Mm. No. That's I can't it. think of anything. Okay. More flashing lights. True. Um. All right. Um. Do you want to paste in the other ghost art before we lose it to the, <laughs> the rest of the chat or no? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, okay. So we also, for each of these, we have the um, happy versions. So I'm going to go ahead and put those in real quick. But while I'm doing that, let's do outros. Whoa. So I am, um, um, you know, what's his name? Um, at Richard on the Make Target. Form. Sorry. I'm, I'm Jasmine. Max Target. Oh, <laughs> uh, I'm Jasmine. And I'm not on the Make Up Forms, but. 
And I'm oh, that's so cute. I'm Vivian. Yeah, I like it a lot. If I was gonna be a spy, my name would be the Ghost. And you're like, what? And you're like, I think I saw the Ghost. And you'd be like, that's crazy. And I'd be like, let's do a briefcase. And I met Liv oh, okay. when they make it for. Me. You're like a, you're like a ghost. You're like a spy, but everyone knows that you're a spy. Like they're like when they see something, they're like, okay, oh. <laughs> Zappy. Peanut is so cute. <laughs> Yeah, 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 no, um, no like, at first, I would not be... Na- <gasps> Daryl! Wait, everybody doesn't see Daryl yet. Daryl! Surprise! <laughs> Woo, special guest appearance. Daryl, what would your spy name be if you were a spy and everybody knew you were a spy? Ooh, ooh, um... Hmm, what hides in plain sight, you know? The man- Mantis? Praying mantis oh. are pretty good. Do you think it's mantis or mantises? Praying. It's probably mantises. Mantises? Manti, yeah. 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 Something sounds off for manti. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we have <laughs> Max Target, which I feel like is the lamest of our spy names. Um, even though it's a oh, cool name. Oh, come on. Max Target. <laughs> <laughs> Max Target. See? It doesn't really- yeah, maybe you have so Doesn't many really, enemies. That's catchy. Mm-hmm. I like this ghost game that you guys got going. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's based off of Res. Have you ever played Res? I have not. No. All right, it's it's like my mission in life to get more people to play Res. So, I'm I'm coming for all of you. <laughs> um. Uh. All right, and I think that's it. Unless Daryl.